have a small garage sale haul for you today. Um, one of the towns nearby was having town-wide garage sales. And um, we just, we went, but we didn't really find a whole lot. It was kind of a rainy morning, and so um, there wasn't that many sales. And sometimes some of the things people try to sell, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. But I did find a few things, so I wanted to show you. Um, I found some of these um, fake gourds and pumpkins, and they all look to be in really good shape. They're not beat up or anything, and it was only 50 cents. So I will use this in my fall decor somehow. And then we went to this church, and it was like free will offering, you know, you could pick whatever you want and then tell them what you want to pay for it. And so we got this movie, Princess Diaries 2, and then we also got another movie, but Olivia is watching it right now, um, The Lion King. And at that same church rummage sale, they had these um, glass canisters, and I love to put my baking goods in glass canisters. Like, look over there. See that shelf of all my baking stuff and I like to put spices and all kinds of things in glass. I try to take them out of the plastic and put them in glass and so I really liked these um, two different sizes here. They're very dirty and I'm gonna have to run them through the dishwasher but we got these two canisters and the two movies for four dollars. And we stopped at another little sale and um, I saw this porcelain egg. It's a little treasure box. And it was 25 cents. And Olivia really likes these kinds of things. So I picked this up for her. And then we were on our way home and Scott saw a sign down kind of a back road. It was kind of on our way home, but it was, you know, on, on a side road. And he turned down it. And I'm really glad he did because the woman had all this milk glass. She had a whole table full of milk glass. And I love hobnail. And so I got this cute little candy dish or something. I'm not really sure. With the little feet and the scalloped edge. And she only wanted $3 for it. And then I saw this little one same design although it doesn't have feet but it has the handles and this was also three dollars so I got these two for six dollars and um, I just I thought they were beautiful and she had a lot of information she knew a lot of information about milk glass and so she shared some of it with me and um, I'll show you a piece that I bought at another garage sale a while back. Hold on. I had picked up this piece of milk glass at a Goodwill a while ago and I you know, am using this in my summer summer um, decor and I had told you that I really love hobnail milk glass and I love this milk glass with the grape vine design on it. And she told me that if you see milk glass that has the grape vine design on it that it's called Indiana Milk Glass and it's produced in Indiana and I just thought that was really kinda cool that the type of particular type of milk glass that I was naturally drawn to is actually from the state that I live in so it was just a small little garage sale haul but I thought you might want to see what I picked up and the information that I learned from that lady that was selling all this milk glass was very interesting and actually worth more to me than the money that I spent for these pieces. So I thought, I just thought that was really great. I love learning new things. And then she gave me the site of a um, milkglass.com that I could go on and even learn more about. So I really love running into people that can teach me something. And a few weeks ago we went to another garage sale and I didn't pick up much but out there on my blue chicken house you can see that yellow sunflower. Um, it's made out of metal and I got that at a garage sale and I paid a dollar for it. 
and it just I think it looks great on the side of my chicken coop <laughs>